our creator. They would have me shot for such simplicity. Drop your acid now. This is meant to be read and spoken aloud in fervor of incense, music, heat, and archaic decadence. Painted masks, exotic plants, skin drums, tortoise shell flutes, pearls, skulls of the hunt, coal pits, wild boar, bamboo spears, and skewers, spice rum, sticky eastern ganja, sharp teeth, oil paints, dyed cloth, spices, meats, curries, rice, flavor and color, totems, fetishes, jaguars, coconut grubs, eternal doorways, snakes, gigantic trees, naked bodies, explosion of fulfillments. It must not be assumed that the meaning of this will fall on the deaf ears of many. Although, after all, for those men and women who are of the dance, the immediate experience, as chaos heralds of the festival, or authors of shamanic ecstasy, the full bellies and instinct as revolutionary weather, all is upon you. Mercurial bliss as flower petals drown in your sensitive skin, not as you once were, only now and as you are living within the totality of the fly. Feel the feeling of beasts. Manifestation of war. This is where life converts and decides upon its singularity. This is where I weep for myself. And in my tears, the reflection of everything I've ever held dear, worshiped and desired. There is no turning back. I can no longer deny my heart. I can no longer hold anything back. And I can no longer be defeated by time. Rise to the occasion. Though my ego may be screwed, though my mind may be fucked, though my heart may be full of holes, though my confidence may have been tied, though it may seem as if there is no hope, here I am. I have a hunger within me that I cannot attribute language to. I have no idea of what it is, what I want, though I know it cannot be found here. I give birth to myself. I will make a mark. Language in favor of autonomous beauty. The resurgent cosmology of what we call paradigmal application in the pursuit of desire and fulfillment lends itself to the ghost economy of metaphysical discourse, that spiral annex where every man is a king in the land of no thing, the territory itself being too timid for natural law, or so we would have us believe. The shaman then, in not so much a spectacular amniosis of experience, but in the discovery, or be it from creation, of that old door to the underworld of the jaguar, and our dialect subsequent and elaborate dive into spontaneity. The dance of revelation, soul grand imaginatory requisite, which dines on explosions with family and friends when curious flowers, perhaps no place of ash, or tears wet from heaven over the death of God, never sharing the same color nor fragrance from one to the other, transubstantiary in simplicity and far too festive for the senses, and illuminative by mere sight to be of any origin besides nature's own will to joy, rain down upon us to invigorate the blossoming of central mandala, autonomous beauty, part of being, the song of the universe. The Tao of Disorder. Whenever you break some law, or rule, or aversion, you feel so much joy. Why do you pe think people feel so much joy in the dance? Because they don't truly need a word. And I will tell you if you are dancing worthily, you will lose the whole joy of it. The moment you learn any dancing rules and regulation, you will lose the joy of it. That's why they say that real dance is just an expression of your being, not the form of some exercise. You learn something and repeat it. Unless you are a professional dancer, others may enjoy it, but not yourself. If you are to enjoy it, it should be ruleless. It should be chaos. When you are expressing the chaos, you will be radiating energy. That's why, if you want to make somebody dull, just put in some rules. That's enough. Make some rules, a person will be dull. 
In the ultimate chaos, there is an order. Please understand, the whole universe is soul intelligence. It is not just power, it is energy. There's a difference between power and energy. Power plus the intelligence is energy. The energy without the intelligence is power. Power is just a force. It is force from intelligence. It responds to us because it is intelligence. Somebody goes to Buddha and asks, What is the creator of the universe? Buddha says the universe itself is the creator. And it says beautifully that creation itself is a creator. The cosmos itself is a creator because it has got its own intelligence. It's a living energy. You are sitting inside a living energy. If you are orderly, without releasing the chaos in your being, not only are you suppressing, you are suppressing everyone. So realize the order in chaos. Realize the chaos inside the order. You will start expressing the compassion. When you release, when you realize the chaos within the order, you will accept yourself and others as they are. Until then, you can neither accept others nor accept yourself. You will continuously condemn others with anger and condemn yourself with guilt. Guilt and anger is just because you are not realizing the chaos in your order. Whatever you think is order, your boundary, it has got chaos in it. Your being, the ultimate being, is a deep chaos, and it is pure energy. When you realize that, you will accept yourself as you are, and you will accept others as they are. Personal consciousness is magic. The ancient Chinese, in celebration of Hunta, would enact chaos day on the winter solstice usually ending in a good number of rooftops being set aflame due to the massive display of fireworks set off in the sudden spirit of festivity, the taste of chaos. This infernal end had most likely contributed to its eventual slip into the flogging debris of time, now dumbfounded as to the very notion of true celebration, true feast, true dance itself. Love and joy in all teaching, it is like grenades, every path in the economy of dream, fire in all things, festival consciousness is magic, the dance, the feast, invert thyself, perform thyself, destroy thyself in laughter, be quenched, be fulfilled, be enlightened, be! Do not remember, do not worry, do not think, do not examine, do not control. Life is a game and you can always restart. Don't worry about tomorrow because it will never come. Look up at what you have today and make something of it because you already have everything you need. There is only beauty in waking thought and thought is only in sweat and fulfillment only in conquest. Beware of those who try to take the fun out of death.